What is going on guys? It's you here bringing you another review slash reaction on Fairy Tale One in Your Quest. This chapter, goodness gracious, talk about establishing dominance and basically putting yourself in this position forcefully. And goodness, I think Celine is going to become the new main villain for the One in Your Quest. And I'm up for it. But guys. If you guys enjoy this content, please make sure to like, subscribe, share, follow my social medias, all that good jazz so that we can continue to grow this community. And most importantly, so you guys can let me know your thoughts. I always love reading your comments and truly, I appreciate the support that you guys give me continuously in every video, but let's get into it. So Celine basically just looks down on these peasants and just says, Suzaku, I'm not gonna kill you. And do not defy me. I don't want to hurt any of you guys. Suzaku, you beat me in the human form, but none of you are at a match against me in this dragon form. And they're all upset, they're all defiant, they're, no one wants to follow what she's saying. And it's crazy because she literally is just kind of enjoying it. You see her smiling. She doesn't feel any kind of problem. And Kidia, though, being the person that she is, decides to basically just jump up and try to attack her. And for a second there, I really thought that she just blasted her out of existence. But she actually takes her away into some random dimension we don't see where this dimension's at but she's like i don't dislike tomboyish girls but i won't return her to you guys until you basically pledge your allegiance to me and they're very hard-headed they don't want to do this uh they actually talk about how you know they have a couple of other people who are on the same level as Suzaku to give her information that she's requesting. And she's intrigued by this. She then goes and reverts back to her human form and she talks about her grand plan. She plans to exterminate other dragons and how previously other dragons that they had like Acnologia and all those other ones that were around that they were not going to fight each other because it was going to lead to their destruction and so now she just wants to create distortion and become the ruler of this world she wants to eliminate and eradicate all remaining dragons live amongst humans and be the strongest dragon slash human i say this before and i'm gonna say it again i honestly believe that we will see elsie return I completely think that Elsie Bilzerian, a.k.a. Urza's mother, will return and she will possibly fight against her. That is a thought of mine that I've had for a while. If I am wrong, I will admit it. But until then, I will continue to think that Elsie will return to fight her in some way, form. And we will have some closure between Urza and Elsie once and for all. I think that's going to happen. I don't know why. I just keep thinking that that would be a very good plot line. And so we'll see when that happens. However, we see how in the end, the, the members give in. They ask, they actually submit to her. And she's like, we're allies. And if you guys feel like you guys can stand up against me later on, then I'll take you on. But as of right now, we are allies. She brings back Kidia, and she's like, Okay, now that I'm the new master of this guild, and you're going to introduce to me who these are, we're going to be killing a few people. We're going to be killing Viernes, and we're going to be killing Ignea. But we're going to take care of good old Elspherion first. And so the goal is to find this old guy who we remember from the very beginning giving the quest to the to the fairy tale group members who we see in this chapter saying their goodbyes. They're actually, you know, 
finishing up being travelers. They, they, were, they were all in a bar with the rest of them, which that's their home away from home. And they're ready to go. It's like they still have their mission. They were able to see them and kind of wrap up things with them. But we see that they get ready to go and we're turning on to their mission. So the goal is to go find Elfsirion, see if they can get any other information out of him. What I think is going to happen is that I feel as though they're going to have to fight again with the members of the Diablos group. So crazy. And I think Celine will make her reveal there as well. But what a crazy chapter, guys. Let me know what you guys think. That is it for me. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below. You already know what to do there. And subscribe, like, all that good jazz. But more importantly, stay safe. And I'll catch you later.